Now for sauger and walleye both, I'm either gonna fish right on the bottom. I mean, I'm not an expert. I've caught a lot of them, but I'm either gonna fish on the bottom, fishing like this with live bait or a foot up from the bottom. I got a pair of these right here with me. I've got five or six of these, but it's a Zebco 4. Okay. And I have one on this rod too. The old Zebco Cardinal 4. Great little reels right here. I rebuilt both of these. They're like new ones. And on this one, I have six pound test. No, this is eight pound test, high impact strand mono and on this one right here it's six pound test mono but it's a p line they're both incredibly strong lines for monofilament and i'm just using this is a three eighths egg weight i have a swivel and then i have an eight pound fluorocarbon leader right here one of around 20 inches long with a size four Eagle Claw bait holder hook. And I have the other one rigged up just exactly the same way. And the reason I'm using this swivel, the problem with catching good quality fish is you have one, two, three, three spots right there that's potential, high potential breaking points. I mean, but that's the reason why I use Palomar knots all the time, or Trilene knots. They're incredibly strong knots. Um, if I didn't use this swivel in here, this is turbulent water, this line would be twisted all to pieces. All to pieces. So that's the reason for the swivel. Now, manners, I like to hook them, open their mouth, and go right through their nostril like that i've mentioned it many times now this is just my opinion they live a lot longer folks a lot longer now we're in 17 feet of water right here and the surface temperature is at 53 50 53 degrees on top i believe we got a fish on here folks Yep, y'all ready? There he is. Reckon what we got right here. Well, I tell you what, it's probably a sauger. Yep, look at there, what a sauger fish right there. Let's flip him in the boat right here. Now, if he's 15 inches, we're gonna keep him. Delicious eating fish. Fun fish to catch. And did I mention delicious? Woo. Now they got a mouthful of teeth. I got that one hooked just right, right there. They got a mouthful of teeth. And they'll bite you. All right, let's put him in there. Woo. Now he's mean. They, I'm talking about, woo. Fishing is a sport second to none, and I love it, but that minner's giving me a fit. Now, some of these minners are bigger than others, and when it comes to sauger and walleye, really, this is the size I like right here, about three to three and a half inches long. I like a big old minner. Now, we're going to take this one, and we're going to pitch him out there like that because it has a lighter weight. I have a quarter ounce. No, I have a five sixteenths on this one. This one I have a three eighths. So I'm gonna just do that. It'll finally settle to the bottom with that big manner. And now we're set up. I have my drags adjusted pretty light, just enough for the hook set. Now these cardinal reels, uh, I tell you, these Cardinal 4s, they have a pretty good drag system. These are old reels, but really it's an advanced drag system compared to, to a lot of reels back in them days. So I trust the drag system. Well, we're getting another bite, folks. 
I'm gonna let him ease off with it a little bit. That's an extra big manner right here. They, y'all ready to set the steel to him? <clears throat> Mm. I tell you what, this one right here has got a little weight to him. You talking about fighting? Where are you going, boy? Well, no wonder. I want you to look what a. I want y'all look what a sauger right here. Now, by Ned, that's a good one right here. That is a King Kong sauger fish right there. My goodness, they flare their gills out right there. Their gills are real sharp right there. Cut you to the bone. Their perculum gill flap there. Hickey, I like to use big words sometimes to impress y'all. All right, that fish is 16 and 3 sixteenths. That's a keeper. There's some folks behind me. Ah, they don't know me, so I'm going to say it like this. Maybe y'all understand. I hope so. Woo. Okay. Right through his mouth and out his nose. He'll live forever. Folks, there's a rock pile right out there. Well, let me make a cast, and I'll show y'all where it's at. It's about midway right there. Every time that bait drifts across it, I either get a bite and miss him or catch one and that's uh how i caught that fish just dragging it like that like you would a carolina rig of course this is a carolina rig <laughs> let it sit there a while and then drag it a few more inches that's how i've been catching them on this rod this one here i'm just waiting for one to come through simple simple little technique right here <laughs> and very effective Oh, there goes one, folks. See, that fish don't even know I'm there by doing that right there. Let's see if we can get a hook in him. We got him. So far, that wasn't really a good hook set. He's really putting the steam on me. Let's see what we got. Uh, man, hard pulling thing, you. Oh my goodness, what a walleye. That is a beautiful walleye, folks. My goodness, no wonder why he pulled. There's another fish right here. What about that? He's had it for a while. Let's go ahead and stick him. Got him. My goodness, I'm having some fun here. Look at there, what a walleye. In the... My, 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 my. This one's a sauger. <laughs> Let's flip him in the boat right here. Well, folks, I'm going to call this technique that we're doing here I'm gonna call it mannering. Mannering. Just fishing with manners. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. As y'all can see, it's an effective technique. Matter of fact, in my opinion, it is the best technique. Cannot beat natural bait. Cannot. Let's let him go. I'm gonna let him go. That fish is probably 14 and a half inches. Folks, I'm having a lot of fun out here. Now that's a good eating size walleye right there. Look at that. I mean, they're beautiful fish. And uh, that one pulled on that white tackle. I knew he was there. There's no doubt about it. We got walleye. All right, folks, I'm gonna show y'all my five best. I throw it away one, throw one back, little one and replaced him with that big, bigger walleye right there. Now I got five. They're all good fish. Let's see, I never did measure this walleye. I was so excited. He's not as big now as what he did look like, but he's uh, 
17 and 5 eighths. Still a good fish. What a blessed day, folks. Mama Sue's gonna be happy. If you got a good woman, I've said it once. I'm gonna say it again. If you got a good woman, be good to them. A good woman, well, is hard to find. Folks, let me say this. That was a lot of fun. What made it a lot of fun, it was an enjoyable day because the weather warmed up a couple days here in the Tennessee Valley. It made it extra enjoyable. But what's more enjoyable is the fact that y'all are watching me out here doing one of the greatest sports that has ever been, and that's the sport of fishing. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for all the great comments, everything y'all do for this channel. Hey. And remember, go fishing when you can because it's good for you.